then there was one. What is going on, y'all? Fast Force saw back at it with another video talking. Of course, some NFL here to talk a little bit about the Chicago Bears. So if you are a Bears fan, make sure to go ahead and subscribe by hitting the big red subscribe button down below and turn on my post notifications by hitting the bell icon down below because you don't want to miss out when I post out videos and I do so very often on the channel. While you're at it, make sure to follow me on my social media links down below and on the screen for that as well. Here to talk about some breaking news with the Chicago Bears as they have now cut kicker Elliot Fry, which means there is one man left standing and his name is Eddie Pinero. So here to break down what this of course means for the Bears kicking situation. Is Eddie Pinero in fact the guy moving forward or could the Bears not be done making moves? So let's get started. So as mentioned, it was announced today that the Bears have cut Elliot Fry. And I don't want to, you know, toot my own horn here, but I did pick Eddie Panera to win the starting job. So I'm just going to give myself a little pat on the back here, okay? Not too much. I don't like to gloat. You guys know me. Let's not do that, okay? With that being said, I did predict it. Um, but that's neither here nor there, okay? Let's just forget that. Let's talk about why this actually happened. Because to be honest... Neither kicker was too impressive. Nobody ran away with the kicking job. And that's why you have the situation you have today in which uh, people aren't stunned. But at the same time, you know, they are, you know, for the most part, nonchalant about it. Why? Because like I mentioned, neither kicker separated themselves. First preseason game, Elliot Fry looked good, made all his kicks. Eddie Pinero missed a field goal. Second game, Eddie Pinero made all his kicks. Elliot Fry missed a field goal. So both kickers were not able to run away with the job so what separated Eddie Pinero from Elliot Fry and to me it was essentially the physical tools okay Eddie Pinero just has a bigger leg and uh, he's got able to kick farther right and so that's the thing I believe the Bears saw with Elliot Fry they don't see as much talent if you will uh, with him that as they do with Eddie Pinero but again it was fairly close that is why this happened. Now, the surprising thing is that it happened uh, after the second preseason game and not after the fourth one because I thought the Bears were just going to use the entire preseason to evaluate both kickers. But after reading about what Matt Nagy said about the situation, the goal here was to use the last two preseason games to get Eddie Pinero some reps, okay, so that he can get all of the reps. He can stay in rhythm, he is able to get into the regular season if he is the starting kicker, which I'll just get to in a second, and he's able to build that confidence by getting the bulk of the kicks, or really all of the kicks, and use the next two preseason games to gear up for that, okay? But speaking to him, the reporters basically quoted uh, Eddie Pinero saying, obviously this doesn't mean anything to him because he still has to kick better and he still has to perform and he is absolutely right this doesn't guarantee anything which brings me to my next point are the bears sold on eddie pinero and i'm gonna give you guys a hard no they are not sold on eddie pinero i was reading twitter and adam schefter and both ian rapaport two of the most respected nfl reporters both said that the bears are you know cutting elliot fry but this does not mean eddie pinero's won the starting job usually they would know if a kicker has won the starting job, and why do we say that? A couple of reasons. One, the Bears had almost traded for uh, the Ravens backup kicker, Kari Vedvik, before the Vikings swooped in and stole him away from us, like the division rivals they are, okay? And the fact that they were still on the market looking for a kicker tells you they were not sold on these two guys. And then the point I mentioned earlier, which is these two guys didn't perform as well as the Bears expected them to. So you take those things into account, and that leads me to believe what? One, the Bears are going to obviously let Eddie Pinero get the bulk of the kicks here in the last two preseason games. But two, the Bears will still shop for a kicker up until the regular season starts, and maybe even into the regular season, okay? And like I said, I've been harping on the fact that the Bears should have signed Matt Bryan in the offseason. Uh, he's 86% field goal kicker. For his career, has made big kicks in his in his career in big games. He's a savvy veteran. I think he'd be perfect for the Bears roster. Now, one of the big criticisms is he's too old. He's 44 years old, which is fairly old. 
But point being is it's a kicker position. And the fact that remains is even if it's a short term solution, if you're not sold on anybody right now, why don't you just address it later? OK, just sign Matt Bryan and address it later, because right now you're not even sold on Eddie Pinero. So basically, that's the situation we have here. So just to recap, folks, the Bears obviously cutting Elliott Fry. I don't believe they're sold on Eddie Pinero. Uh, they almost traded for Tari Vedwick, the Ravens backup kicker. And you should look for the Bears to exhaust all op options and possibilities to try and address the kicking position. My prediction, the Bears end up with Elliot Fry, excuse me, uh, Eddie Pinero as our starting kicker come week one against the Green Bay Packers. I just don't believe that something magically is going to happen unless the Bears take my advice and sign Matt Bryant. But for the most part, uh, these guys have been there from the beginning, from training camp and, uh, you know, all throughout the offseason and now into the preseason. And unless Eddie Pinero goes completely south, which means he absolutely bombs in the next two preseason games, look for him to be our starting kicker, okay? And as far as how I feel about that, eh, I'm all right. Not too ecstatic, but not too down. So let's see what happens. But for the most part, unless he goes south and his performance follows him, in these next two preseason games, expect Eddie Pinero to be our starting kicker come week one against the Green Bay Packers. So there you have it, folks. Those are my thoughts on the Bears kicking situation. Let me know if you guys agree with me or disagree. Make sure to subscribe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please make sure to subscribe. As always, thanks for watching.